demonstration of ELISA. Here we are going to show you the ELISA on TSH. Now as you can see this is a kit of ELISA. Here it is a TSH kit. This comes in a whole packing. Under it when we open it this is a material of the procedure. This is a packing of the plate which is already being explained in the theoretical portion. As you can see this is a plate on which we are going to show you the demonstration of ELISA. This is a coated wells, 96 coated wells here. This is a washing concentrate of the uh, kit. This is the TMB substrate which is we are going to use. In this we see this is a TH TSH conjugate. Here are as you can see here are all the controls which you can see here. These are different controls which we have marked as A, B, C, D, E. One thing which has remained here is this is a stop solution which is we are going to use at the end to stop the reaction. So now we are going to start with the procedure. This is a samples which we have kept already which are we have going to measure the TSH levels in the samples serum which we have already uh, done the uh, centrifuge serums have been kept with the serum in the vials. So the, these are the micro tips which we will be using. These are the micro pipettes which are used. Hence we are going to start forward the procedure. Now we are starting the first step of our TSH diagnosis. Here we have taken out the 96 well coated strip in which it has been already the wells are already coated with TSH antibodies here we have taken out the eight wells as you can see over here these are the eight wells in which the test will be done for this we will be taking five controls and the rest three wells will be taken for the sample testing this is a control A which we are taking first control 50 microliter of this control A will be uh, done in the put into the well first well as you can see then we will discard the tip and we will take a new tip for it new tip every time we have to discard a tip now here this is a control B which we will take in second well discarding of the tip every time we use a new tip this is a hazardous process potentially hazardous so we have to be in very precaution while doing all these steps this is the control C we are taking this control C and putting it in the third number well This is a discarding of tips in 1% sodium hypochloride. Now we are taking this control D. D control is being put into the fourth well. This is control D E which will we take as a fifth control and we will put into the fifth well. Fifty microliter of each is being put into the wells. Now I am taking the sample of serum to be tested. This we have kept at the side so that we don't get the mix up of the vials, serums. 
this is a sample number 2 which we are taking again the pipette is being uh, the tips have been changed e after each step now in the second um, uh, seventh well this is added sample 2 is being kept at the side now we are again taking a new tip and a new sample which has to be tested this is the hot sample serum which has been taken and added to the strip this micro coated strip which is already been coated with TSH antibodies the principle of finding a human TSH level is that it is being the TSH will be sandwiched between the two TSH antibodies in the present in this whole reactions now we are taking step 2 conjugate reagent of TSH 10 microliter each will be added by this pipette and it will be added to each well 10 microliter this is our TSH conjugate as you can see here very finely this work has to be done Now the addition of the conjugate has been done and this has to be incubated for 60 minutes and we will keep it in the room, at room temperature for 1 hour and we will do the third step after the completion of 1 hour. Now as you can see we have taken out our strips after the incubation of 60 minutes from the incubator this has been removed out. Now what we are going to do the washing of the of these wells. The washing will be done three times and it is done with this solution, washer solution which is being provided in with the kit but it is diluted with the distilled water in the ratio of 1 ml one micro 1 ml buffer and 19 ml distilled water. So this is a wash washing solution. Now we will go to, we will do the washing. Let me discard. We have discarded the uh, solution of the wells and now we are going to do the washing taking 300 microliter of wash solution for each well. See we have we have taken we are taking the markers, mark, marking at the 300 microliter. This we will take from the wash solution. In each well, we are going to fill up these with wash solution. This is a first washing. Now we will again discard them discard the water and we will do the second round of washing This is the second round of washing. After adding the wash solution, we will again discard it 
and now again the third round of washing will be done in the similar way This is the third round of washing completed. This washing is being discarded, wash solution. Now we will dry this on the tissue paper. We will completely dry the strip. By tapping onto the tissue paper, we have dried this uh, coated wells. and now we will proceed further we will do the next step by adding of 100 microliter of tnb substrate to it Hundred microliter of tnb substrate will be added to each of these wells Now again we have set our pipette to 100 microliters as you can see here this is 100 microliter pipette set and we are going to use the substrate solution this is tnb substrate which we will go add to the all the wells each well is being added with this tmb substrate now we will again incubate this these wells for 15 minutes in room temperature we will keep it in the incubator at the room temperature After 15 minutes, now we are going to add the 50 microliter of stop solution into the each of these wells. This is a stop solution for TSH. We are going to use it for 50 microliter for each. after adding the stop solution we will again wait and shake it with gently and we will wait 10 minutes 10 minutes 15 15 minutes again then we are going to read it again at 37 degree uh, room temperature for 15 minutes
after 15 minutes we have taken out the strips and now we are going to uh, uh, read it in the eliza reader we will put it into the reader for the readings to come we will set the reader according to the uh, uh, protocol and we will take out the readings In the end of this ELISA session, I would like to th give thanks to Dr. Pradeep and Dr. Preeti for my supervising and Mr. Vishnu for being my technical support. Thank you.